Hi guys, good afternoon. So welcome to A Square Languages one more time. So uh, today, guys, I will come back again with my airlines reservation uh, rebuttals. Basically, you know, guys, the airlines industry it's all about handling the reservation in terms of you know ticketing because people are handling the ticketing you know from uh, we have a campaigning like US campaigning, UK campaigning, and Australian campaigning, right? And Indian campaigning as well. But the main thing, how to handle a US customer because if you want to join a US industry in terms of airline reservation, you know, we are having a very good incentives. We are having a very good salary on this. Provided, you should have a good knowledge of Amadeus and Galileo softwares, right? You should know how to make the combinations. For example, customer is coming back to you. The fare is coming, I am getting a fare of 90,000. So how we can drop down those prices? So I will let you know what are the combinations we can make in order to make the fare very competitive. So Splodium Gadgetly will deliver a lot of things. But the first thing is to face the clients. What see the client is very clever nowadays. If we offer them a fare of 50,000, he will come back to you. No, I'm getting a fare of 45,000. So what are the tips basically required in order to handle the airline's reservation clients? If you want to see if you have a, if you have a skills right that's all about convincing skills now that's about convincing skills plus your rebuttals plus your abbreviation in the airlines all right so today guys I will explain to you because there are a lot of people who are from English industry especially in the reservation the travel executive they are facing the same problem why because if they are offering a fare of 50,000, they come back to us. No, I am getting a fare of 45,000. Then what agent replied? No, no, sir, trust my work. This is the best fare now. You don't need to say these type of terms. So today, guys, I will tell you the rebuttals of the airlines, and I'm sure once you apply those rebuttals, definitely your client will convince and you can you can uh, make your GPM graph up. GPM stands for gross profit margin. All right. So now today. In the, in the first chapter, I already convinced you what is the call opening the moment you face the customer, the moment you take the calls of the customer. So, what is the call opening basically? And today, you will come to know uh, after the call opening, what are the procedures, what are the steps we have to follow in terms of handling the clients? Number one. Now, for example, if customer is saying, no, no, no. I am getting a fare of 50,000. However, you offer the fare of 55,000 and you know the market price is 60,000 or 70,000. But you make a combination. I will explain to you how to make a combination basically, right? But you make a combination, alright, and you offer a very best price. You went on the website when the website price is coming, I would say 60,000, but you have a fare of 55,000, right? So, how we reach the customer? If customer is saying again, you spend like one hour, right, in your reservation and you make a fare of again 50,000, you make a combination of different little airlines, you know, so you come back to the 50,000, again you say, now it's pretty expensive. So what you will do? Because once you are getting a call, right, if the customer is coming back to your agency, it has to be finalized, right? So how we handle those type of customers? The boy. See, you have to apply if customer is saying, for example, you offer them a fare of 50,000 and you know the market is only 60,000, still customer is saying no, it's expensive. So, how you will face this? What rebuttals you will apply in this? Number one, you have to be very confident, confidently. You have, you have to be confident about this. Sir, he, because obviously when he is saying I am getting a fare of 45,000, you offer them a fare of 50,000, market fare is 60,000, obviously he checked, he checked the fare from the website or it could be a competitors, right? So now, then you have to reply, no problem sir, I would request you to keep my competitor aside based on my tenure, based, uh, based on my tenure, I always cater and offer the sophisticated itinerary for my clients. How you don't need to say no, sir. Trust me, my boss. The fare is coming for forty-five thousand. That's not possible. Customer will not listen to those same words. So you have to be very smart in this. So you have to say no problem, sir. But I request you to keep my competitor aside based on based upon my tenure. I always cater and offer sophisticated itinerary for my clients. However, I want you to I go 
what, what is this? For example, you come back to my shop and I am offering the mobile phone is 10,000 rupees. What is that source? Please give me some discount. 9,000. Can you make it like 9,000? But I will come back to you. No, no. What we can do is we both of be close together and we close the deal of 9,500. But how to pitch these type of things to the clients? So, sir, I would request you to keep my customer competitor aside. Based upon my tenure, I always cater and offer or sophisticated ivory for my clients. It means you are telling your experience first. Sir, I have very good experience. I uh, handle the customer very sophisticated way. So trust in my words. However, I want you to bit step up. I want you to come uh, come up with your bit step up. Bit step up is if he is expecting a fair twenty five thousand. You are offering a fair fifty thousand. So if we are saying, sir, let's move on a bit step more. I will reduce a bit step more. Right. So I want you to come up with a bit step up in your expectation. It means in Hindi, mein, sir, 45, 50, chalo, 48, we close karte hai, from the, the meaning of this. So now, sir, keep my competitor aside. Based upon my tenure, I always cater and offer a sophisticated itinerary for my clients. However, I want you to come up with a bit step up in your expectation which is us to close the deal because few seats are available few seats are left at this moment for example i would request you to apply these type of terms with your customers and apply from today itself for example i am a customer right i want to travel to chicago us right you offer me a fare of sixty thousand, and i know i'm a customer i already su surveyed i already went on, on so many websites and i know it's coming sixty five thousand. But you as an expert in, in airline reservation ticketing, right? You offer me a fare of 60,000. Still I'm saying, no, no, that's pretty expensive. So what terms you will use? What happens, sir? It's very good price. I will not convince. So you have to say, sir, keep my competitor aside. Trust in my words. Based upon my tenure, I always cater and offer them, offer a sophisticated identity for my clients. However, I want you to come up with a bit step up in your expectations, wherein which is us to close the deal because few seats are left at this moment. So you have to say these are the terms. Because today motion is very important in order to handle the clients. People are getting very experienced. People know how to, you know, beat the competition. They know how to make a fear. They know how to make a very best fear, but they don't have convincing skills like this. So the moment you have those skills, right? I will also explain to you how to compete with the competition in terms of Calculating the fear in my last, uh, in my next, sorry, in my next module, you will come to know why my next phase. Still, customer is saying, No, 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 no. Still, customer is saying, No, 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 I'm looking the fear of uh, something wherein 45,000. Then again, you have a next return. So, we as an agency, because you know what, customer always concerned for his identity. And if you are a small agency, because you know people are looking for small agency, but sometimes they offer the very best price. It's not a small agency. People are very experienced. The people are experienced, the company is big. Right? But sometimes I have seen the people, the customer is more focused about the brand. Yeah, I'm traveling now, make my trip. X, Y, Z. Right? But how we can complete those prices? I know. For example, my competitor, which is a brand product, and he's offering a fair of 60,000, but I have a fair of 55,000. That's my expertise. I calculate the fair of 55,000. And this is saying, uh, no, it looks like why are you offering the fair of 55,000? Why are the brand is offering the fair of 60,000? So the, the mental level revolves. Like there should, be, there, there, there should not be some scam on this. So how to control these type of, you know, debutters now? What you will say, sir, we as an agency, because you have to leave your lasting impression and you have to influence the customer now. So we as an agency sitting always besides in your whole journey. How you can sitting beside your travel, traveler journey, in your client journey, but you have to say like this. How? I will explain to you how. So we as an agency sitting always besides in your whole journey as we give you one point of contact. And 
you may and you may not feel alone nevertheless my helpline number is open 24 by 7 that's how it impact that's how it impact for example I'm a customer and, and I'm bo booking my tickets with a small agency but yes the small agency people the small agency people are highly experienced but sometimes my mental energy goes why other brand is offering the fare of 10,000 more why the small agency is offering a fare of 5,000 less what is the reason behind because that's my expertise I have dealt with the fare alright so if customer is saying those are uh, the the based upon the trust so what you will say Sir, we as an agency sitting always beside in your whole journey. You cannot say, sir, we are since we in the market in the last five years. Customer is not don't concern because customer is concerned about his, you know, there should not be a scam on this. So you have to say like this. We as an agency sitting be, uh, always beside in your whole journey as uh, we'll give you one point of contact. And you may not feel alone, nevertheless, my helpline number is open 24 by 7. However, just consider we are always there, no matter which location you are holding. It could be said any location in the world, just give me a one call, sir. I will be there. You have to say like this. However, just consider we are always there, no matter which location you are holding, we are just one call behind, sir. Any location, just give me a call, we are just one call behind, right? We care your travel, we care your travel till the time you want back to your homeland. We care your travel till the time you want back to your homeland. So you have to apply these rewards. Time will definitely come in because guys, I am holding a tenure of 16 years in this AI industry. I have handled so many clients. I handle French customers, I handle Spanish customers because I have an expertise in my three languages. I know French, Spanish and Chinese. So I handle English customers also. So based on my experience, I'm telling you these are what you please apply this. Again, till customer is saying, now, now, now. After having those reverters, still customer is saying, now, now, now. I, I have my budget, right, of 15,000. The market for is 70,000. And you offer over 55,000. That's a very tough situation. But you have to take your patience. You don't, you no need to lose your patience basically, right now. So, what you will ask them? Because, you know, sometimes we said, okay, I just hang up the phone, but it's very, the customer is not, is not ready to take the fears. But now, we have to take a challenge now because customer has to go. Otherwise, you will buy from a different agency. So next rebuttal is simple. Sir, can I ask some question? When after having those conversations, I will explain them in is also aware that I am offering them a very best fare. But still is saying now, now, now. The next question is, your next rebuttal is, Sir, can I ask some question, please? Simple. You know need to say, Sir, Sir, trust my words. Why? What happened? You please go to them now. After having those importers, definitely your client will get convinced if in case 0.1% if customer is still saying now you see sir can I ask one question because you have to you have to be in judgmental situation what client is looking forward is it like the client is just a time pass customer is, is just shopping around he's just roaming around for the fairs or he would love to take this fair as soon as possible Sometimes the, the, the people are just shopping around. So you have to ask one question after this. Sir, can I, well, can I ask one question over here? Well, yes, sure. You ask the question, please. I believe your travel is fixed or you may postpone or cancel your program if in case you will not meet the fair criteria which you are supposing for your journey. Wow. So it means what you're asking for, sir. Can I ask one question? Yes, ask me. Then you will say, sir, I believe your travel is fixed or flexible, or you may postpone or cancel your travel in case, in case you will not meet the fair criteria which you are supposing for your journey. It means in Hindi, sir, are you plan fixed or Fixed है कि you go to go कि आपको जाने ही जाना है अगर आपको जो फिर ढूंढ रहे हो आप और आपको नहीं मिल पाता तो आपके plan cancel कर दोगे अपना 
तो ये बिकॉज कस्टमर यस आई विल कैंसल इट मीन रिजर्व शॉपिंग अराउंड अगर कस्टमर कह रहा है कि नो नो आई विल कैंसल या 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 इट मीन रिजर्व शॉपिंग अराउंड सो यू कैन नॉट हैंग अप द फोन कॉल यू हैव टू बी स्पीक टू द कस्टमर राइट सो लाइक दिस एंड आई कन्फेशन ओवर हियर आई बिलीव सर यू टू बिकॉज यू हैव टू बी इन जजमेंटल सिचुएशन व्हेन द क्लाइंट इज अ शॉपिंग अराउंड क्लाइंट वुड लव टू टेक दिस और क्लाइंट विल बाय फ्रॉम यू नो इन द नेक्स्ट सेवन और एट डेज सो यू हैव टू बी बिकॉज यू हैव टू कीप योर फॉलो अप्स सो वंस यू हैव अ फॉलो अप यू कैन बी लाइक एनीथिंग इन दिस मार्केट राइट सो नाउ Can I ask one question over here, sir? Will you please ask the question? I believe, sir, your travel is all fixed, or you may postpone or cancel your program if, in case, you will not meet the fare criteria which you are supposing for your journey. Then he will reply him that confused. It may be what client will think. I am speaking with one of the experts because a good expert only can ask these questions. A fresher, maybe I'm holding experience for maybe five years, six years, but I don't have these equal tools. So what my experience will do? Nothing, nothing else. So once the client will have a mentality like I'm speaking with one of the expert, and I believe yes, I have to buy from this agency also. All right. So these impressions you have to leave to the clients because you have to leave your lasting impressions. All right. Then again, he's saying. No, yeah, I'm not sure. No, 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 no. I got to go. If customer is saying, no, 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 I got to go. My travel is all fixed. At any cost, I have to travel. Then you came to know, no, the customer is not shopping around. However, he is a bit concerned about his ivory and the pocket. All right, so he's looking forward to something a cost effective ivory. Then what you will say because you know the fare is. Offering, do you are offering the fare of very less as compared to the market? Now, what you will say, great sir. As you said, your travel is all fixed. However, I will definitely look forward to part a few percentage of discount. Great sir, as you said, your travel is all fixed. However, I will definitely try. I will definitely look forward to part a few percentage of discount. If you wish to book the ticket today only, why today only? Because customer already came back to you that my travel is all fixed. I go to go at any cost. So now you have your impression, right? The customer will buy it maybe today or tomorrow because the travel is all fixed. So this time will rebuild you with one eyes. You will not need to say, sir, trust my words. I am a big agency. We are here in the market since two thousand twelve. Now, the customer know the fact, guys. He will visit your website. He will see this. All right. So, guys, this button I'm sure will definitely take your level up in terms of increasing your GPM and to handle your clients. Okay. If you want to make more dockets, what is dockets? Dockets is your the more you handle the customer, the more you handle the itinerary, you have your dockets. The more you handle the dockets, the more your incentive will come. So, guys, if you wish to join this uh, travel industry, have this rebuttal first. So we as Nesco languages, we have a tenure of 16 years we spend in airlines industry. So we'll give you so many tips how to you know drop down the fares, how to build the fare, what are fare building basically in my next module. So first chapter I already conveyed to you what are you know the call opening process, and the second is what are the airline reservation training. After that, after call opening, what rebuttals you have to use in terms of customers. Okay, all right. So see my channel if you like this, write a comment. Okay, I will surely come back with my lesson three, with again a new rebuttals and the fair calculation. So basically, I'm IT certified. Okay, so uh, you can see my IT certified. We are in just time also. So most probably you will see my IT certificate in my website also, which we have displayed. All right. So if you are looking for your IT program, feel free to speak with me. All right. Take care. Thank you.